so now we will discuss introduction to symbol table now we will study this symbol table what is symbol table why we use this okay as i explained uh, in the previously in the diagram that we have a symbol table here and that is connected to all the phases of the compiler so now uh, theoretical of theoretical questions can be asked from this symbol table so you should study properly you should study this topic properly okay so first thing is symbol table is a important data structure symbol table is an important data structure data structure created created and maintained created and maintained by compilers okay so this data structure that is symbol table it is created by the compiler and it is maintained by the compilers in order to store in order to store information information about the occurrences occurrences of various entities so it stores how many how many uh, times uh, certain entities are used in our code or in all the phases and such as what are the various entities such as variable we have used variables right we have we used names we used function name in our code we used objects we used classes and, and we used interfaces etc okay so these are the these are the various entities which we used which we use generally in our code right so symbol table is an important data structure created and maintained by the compiler okay in order to store information about the occurrences how many times we have used variables and what kind of variables we have used names function names objects classes interfaces etc clear now the information is collected by the analysis phase okay so there is one analysis phase and there is one synthesis phase okay so there are two phases uh, we have divided all the phases of the compiler into this analysis phase and synthesis phase so basically so basically analysis phase is lexical analysis it consists of lexical analysis and uh, syntax analysis phase and semantics and ana semantic analysis phase okay semantic analysis phase and then we have synthesis phase in which we have icg okay and then we have code optimizer and target code generator so we have just divided into this phase analysis phase and synthesis phase clear so so the information is collected by this analysis phase of a compiler and that information is used by the synthesis phase to generate the target code okay so we uh, this analysis phase used that symbol table to store the information and that information will be used by this synthesis phase clear now so now i will tell you the usage of symbol table by all the phases of a compiler okay so usage of symbol table by all the phases of compiler by all the phases of compiler so here we have the phase and here we have the usage okay so first is lexical analysis first is lexical analysis phase so it it creates it creates new entries new entries 
for each new identifiers for each new identifiers clear second phase is syntax analysis syntax analysis phase so it adds it adds information regarding attributes attributes like type scope scope of a variable dimension of arrays right line of a reference right and line of views line of views so this information is stored by the syntax analysis in the in the symbol table okay now third is third phase is semantic analysis and how this semantic analysis use the symbol table it uses the available information so whatever information is available in the symbol table so it will use that information to check to check semantics to check semantics and then it update and then it updates that symbol table okay so what do you mean by semantics so let's take an example suppose we have we have allocated we have written something like this a is equal to 10 in our code now it will it will check the entry of a in the symbol table to check if it is an array or it is a variable so suppose if a is an array and we are allocating we are you know assigning some value directly to this array then it is not possible right if this is array we cannot assign the value like this so it is not possible so it will check the semantics it will do the type checking type checking will be done by this like this okay by semantic analysis phase okay so it will check if it is an integer variable then there will be no error right that is possible okay so like this it check the semantics and it accordingly it updates the symbol table whether it is possible or not clear then we have the next phase which is intermediate code generator intermediate code generator okay so in this uh, information is information in symbol table so whatever information is in the symbol table we have uh, stored that information will be helpful for intermediate code generation to add to add temporary variables information to add temporary variables information okay for example for example if we have something like this x is equal to y plus z okay now so it will see uh, it will see the information about these variables and accordingly it can do something like this and then it can yeah so it will generate three address code basically so it will use it will add the temporary variables by checking the information of the variables in the symbol table clear so type of t depends on y and z okay and then type of y and z will be checked in the symbol table so in this way intermediate code generator uses symbol table then we have code optimization code optimization phase right now information in symbol table used in machine dependent optimization by considering the address and aliased variable information so as for, uh, similar uh, you can take this example so now x is uh, after this intermediate code generator it has generated t is equal to y plus z then x is equal to t so it will reduce the code 
it will reduce the code the code optimization will reduce it and then later it can directly replace y plus z suppose we have x is equal to y plus z then we have used t1 is equal to y plus z and then we are assigning x is equal to t1 right so it will directly use t1 is equal to y plus z okay so and later in the code it will replace this y plus z with t1 okay so it will not it will try to reduce the size of the code code optimizer okay and that is machine dependent as i said earlier these two phases like code optimization and target code generation they are platform dependent machine dependent so optimization will be depending on the machine and the platform which we used considering the addresses and aliased variable information okay then we have target code generation then we have the target code generation and it will generate the code it will generate it will generate the code by using the address address information of identifiers so it will generate the code according to the address information of identifiers for example if we have used something like this a of i in the in our code so it will it will convert this into this one okay so it will use the address info of these identifiers okay so that is target code generation so it will basically it will it converts the code into the machine level or you can say the assembly code it will finally generate the assembly code clear so these are the various usage of symbol table which is being done by this all the phases of the compiler clear now now we will see what are the symbol table entries